Okay, so we uh, we start here with assuming that um, our relation is rational. So that our weak preference relation be rational. Rational, which entails all of this. We'll use transitivity later. So. Um, also, we want to assume at the start x is strictly preferred to y and y is strict, uh, weakly preferred to z. So we want to show this right here, and the definition is here. Um, given what we're assuming at the start, we immediately um, have that x is weakly preferred to z. And this follows from the definition of strict preference here in regards to x and y. That gives us that x is weakly preferred to y. And then the transitivity of the weak preference gives us that x is weakly preferred to z. Now, the definition of Strict preference means that all we need to show now to get our answer here is that not z is weakly preferred to y, so we or to x, sorry. So we want to show not z weakly preferred to x. So to do that, we can um, do a contradiction. So by way contradiction, we'll assume z is weakly preferred to x, and then from that we can recall we assumed y was weakly preferred to z. So then from transitivity this gives us that y is weakly preferred x. But this is a contradiction. It contradicts what we assumed right here, that x is strictly better than y. So this means, this gives us that um, x is weakly preferred to z and not z weakly preferred to x which is just the definition of um, x being weakly preferred to, or being strictly preferred to z. So that's what we were trying to prove, x is strictly preferred to z, and we're done.